Hello world! In this video, we will secure a Spring Boot 2 REST API application with Keycloak version 8. Keycloak is an identity and access management solution that can be rolled out of the box with little configuration. Furthermore, it's open source, which makes it popular among developers. I have written several articles on how to secure a front-end and back-end application using Keycloak available in my blog in this URL which I will paste in the description box of this video. The purpose of this tutorial is to cover the latest version of Keycloak which as of the time of this writing is version 8.0.1. This tutorial will secure a Spring REST API by using the Keycloak Spring Boot adapter and Spring Boot starter security. Now let's start by creating or in this case importing a realm. I have already created the Spring project and uh, I have the realm and user configuration exported and it is they are inside the config folder in the Spring Boot 2 Keycloak 8 project which I will make available in the description box of this video. Now let's import the realm. But first let's if you haven't done so, download Keycloak from keycloak.org. Download the latest version. Once you download it, extract. Alright, let's proceed by running Keycloak. The first parameter is the fourth offset and the second one is keycloak.profile.feature.upload scripts. It will allow us to import the realm configuration. Now let's start Keycloak. And again, so here is the documentation uh, about that parameter, upload scripts, and the uh, key cloak should be available in port 8081. Login using the user that you have configured when you first run key cloak. And then let's begin importing our realm configuration by hovering in the master realm and click the add realm button. Now let's select the realm configuration under the Spring Boot 2 project config folder. Balam Garden and let's hit create. It should create a Balam Garden realm. And uh, we should be able to check if it's successfully imported if we have the API services and the uh, SSO client. SSO client is a confidential client. This is the client that we will use to log in. And then we have the API services which, which is a bearer only type client. Mostly we will use this for the API services and then let's import our users by clicking the import menu in the left panel and uh, select file now let's import this balam garden users import all right skip all right our two users were successfully imported sarah and jim now under the roles we have promoter and supervisor sarah is a member of the role promoter while jim is a supervisor now let's proceed by creating our project in this case i already have it prepared and uh, just a few notes we need to add these dependencies for this to work. The uh, Spring Boot Starter Web, Keycloak Spring Boot 2. Remember, the, uh, don't forget the Boot 2 adapter. Keycloak Tomcat 7 adapter dis distribution, this. And the Keycloak Spring Security adapter, as well as the Spring Boot Starter se Security to secure the routes. And then let's define the 
a custom Keycloak Spring Boot Config Resolver because uh, before we defined it inside this class, the Keycloak Security Config, but that extends Keycloak Web Security Configurer Adapter, but right now that doesn't work, so we need to create its own configuration class and then uh, override the resolve method just like this so this is a constructor and this is the uh, spring boot application properties so it's using the spring boot application properties to initialize key cloak now in our application properties we defined the key cloak configuration here is the server url the realm which is balam garden and the resource for this api service which is the api services it's a bare only client and then uh, we use the preferred username as the principal attribute now going back to the key cloak security config here we extend the keycloak web security configurer adapter that is created by keycloak and then don't forget to annotate this class with at keycloak configuration and at enable global method security because we will be using at free authorize in some of our methods this class is available in the keycloak documentation and uh, here is that class so most of the methods here I've just copied from Keycloak. I think this is the full version. And then I've just added some overrides like I think this is the most important. The override for the Keycloak config resolver. Notice here that I'm passing the Keycloak Spring Boot properties and then I'm using the custom Keycloak Spring Boot Config Resolver, which we have created earlier, this class. And then this is for the Keycloak template, a uh, REST template, so that we can call another API service in case we need to. And then most of uh, the method here are just the defaults that we got from Keycloak documentation and then uh, this one is also important because using null authenticated session strategy this is for bare only tokens otherwise use this register session authentication strategy and then we override the configure and here we define some uh, security this URL is only available for users with role promoter and this URL uh, supervisors should only be uh, uh, accessible for users which role for users with role supervisor which we will see later now let's look at the rest controller class this is uh, the base URL IAM uh, accounts then we have hello hello is not in the constraint so it will be permitted and then here we have authenticated URL pre-authorized means that this URL should be accessible by users who are logged in the is authorize method is defined here in this URL. So we have is is authenticated. Sorry about that. So it returns true if the user is not anonymous, meaning the user is currently logged in and then the promoter's URL. Here I didn't add the pre-authorize because I let the uh, key cloak security config to handle those URLs because in here the pre-authorized is hard-coded in uh, this class so in case I decided to add another class so I need to hard-code at pre-authorized and uh, add some EL expression as parameter in this case 
if the URLs and the rows are dynamically defined, let's say in the database, so I can load it here. All right, in app of the talk. So let's try running this uh, Spring Boot to Kicklock a application and do some testing. Let's run this using the debug mode, and then to test this project, I also push uh, Postman collection that you can use for testing. So this one, if you import it uh, inside Postman, it should look like this. Uh, basically, there are two users, Sarah and Jim. Remember, Sarah is a member of the role promoter. So this promoter URL should be accessible by her and uh, this supervisor should not be. All right, now let's try running this uh, one by one first we need to log in and this is the login url by provided by keycloak it will generate a uh, access token and refresh token that we need to pass when we send our uh, authenticated or re where we want to access a restricted url next is hello this hello is not restricted so any user or if you wh whether you are login or not anonymous you should be able to access this url then we have this authenticated url which maps in this method and it's calling the add pre-authorized interceptor so we have hello because i've passed the access token which we got when we log in so when we log in there in inside the test tab i've saved the uh, access token and refresh token in the environment variable this access token i pass when calling the when sending the request to this url and i have specified that under the authorization tab here access token now next is it's not authenticated so using the same url but without the access token uh, we got the error unauthorized which is correct next is promoter again promoter should only be accessible by users who are member of the role promoter which in our case Sarah is a member of that role promoter so Sarah should be able to access this URL which she does and then uh, the last request for Sarah uh, supervisor but since Sarah is not a member of the role supervisor we will have a forbidden or 403 HTTP status error now going to gym, it's the same logic. First, let's try to log in and then hello is unrestricted URL is authenticated. will allow gym because uh, we are already logged in using gym's account is not authenticated. We're not passing any access token. Then promoters, since gym is not a member of the role promoter remember we only added him to the role supervisor so promoter should not be accessible thus we got the 403 http status error forbidden finally jim should be able to access the supervisor's uh, url again we have specified those constraints under the uh, Keycloak security config that extends the Keycloak web security configurer adapter. So finally, let's run this test and uh, Jim should be able to access it. Just like that. And I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you have some questions regarding this uh, video or or if you have some programming problem, 
that you need consultation, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments section below and I'll try my best to get back to you. See you in the next video. Goodbye.